All right, so I'm going to give this a try. I'm going to use one of my old band CDs. Uh, we'll see how this sounds. What's up guys? Here I have some new Rockford Fosgate speakers we're going to be trying out in the E46. Uh, the speakers that are in there are blown. They sound horrible. They're rattling around and stuff. So no matter what I put in, it's probably going to be better than what's in there. But I'm going to give you my honest opinion about these Rockford Fosgates. These are component speakers. They're pretty nice. I'm going to be putting these in the doors and then also in the deck lid. Okay, so looking at these, these are definitely blown. Look at that. That's crazy. They're just old. So when I was trying to order speakers to fit this, um, it, I had a hard time finding what actual size the speakers were. And I ended up going with the six and a half inch speakers, which I feel like I could have almost went a little bigger. Um, well, maybe not. It's just probably the way it is. You know, yeah, I guess that's about as big as I could have went. But, um, yeah, these Rockford Fosgates are the six and a half. And then I got these adapters that I can put on these so that it'll match up with the factory. So, that'll be good. We'll put those in, try them out. So these are the old tweeters, these are the new ones. They actually look like they're really pretty close, but they're not an exact fit. I am going to have to modify this bracket to make this work, uh, which is too bad. If I could take this speaker out of here and put it in there, it almost looks like it's the same size, but that's alright. We'll just uh, cut this bracket up and see what we can do. All right, so I modified that bracket, and now I'm gonna use the glue gun and glue it on. All right, so I glued this on the bracket, and that looks pretty good. Doesn't have to be pretty. I did have to splice the wires together, no big deal. All right, uh, for, the, for the door speaker, the lower speaker, I had to uh, splice in the wires too, just cut them, splice them in. I used some uh, shrink wrap connectors. Um, so those will work pretty good.
by the time we open our eyes, our lives will have passed us by. We'll look back on our struggle to make ends meet, not as our victory, but as our defeat. Because in our struggle to make the almighty dollar, our lives will have passed us by. We'll come to find that there is no tomorrow. Yeah, there's no tomorrow. All right, so the new speakers are in. They sound great. I'm really impressed with them. Um, it's night and day difference from what I had. Now, what I had was garbage. Um, you saw the speakers were ripped apart and junk. So it's hard to say whether these are better than the stock sounding speakers, but they weren't too expensive and they were definitely an upgrade from what I had. So I'm happy with them. All right, so the one criticism I have about the speakers is there's not a lot of bass coming out of them. They're more of a mid-range type speaker. Now, maybe when they break in a little bit, then they'll sound slightly more bassy right this second. Um, if you listen to the music, medium volume, they sound amazing. And I'm really impressed with the tweeters. I can't believe how crystal clear those tweeters sound. But the, I was expecting a little bit more bass out of them and I didn't really get that. Which, it's a little bit disappointing because I didn't want to have to add a sub. I didn't want to have to add a sub and an amp, but um, I think I'm gonna end up adding one. Now I am gonna change the head unit. I just have the stock head unit in. Uh, when I get the new head unit in, maybe it'll, the sound will be a little bit better as well. But for what they are and how much they were, they sound awesome. I'm very happy with them. If you guys like these speakers, there'll be an affiliate link in the description. I'll get a small commission that'll help support this channel and future videos. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. Check out some of my other videos. I try to be funny once in a while, it doesn't always work out. But I do a lot of automotive type stuff, mechanical type stuff, and try to put music, make it interesting. But uh, thanks for watching, rock and roll.